This is chapter 9, exercise number 4. A particular brand of tires claims that its deluxe tires average at least 50,000 miles before it needs to be replaced. From the past studies of this tire, the standard deviation is known to be 8,000. Survey of owners of that tire is conducted. From 28 tires surveyed, the mean lifespan was 46,500 miles the standard deviation of 9,800 miles. Do the data support the claim at the 5% level? Alright, so this is our first stab at a hypothesis test. So in beginning a hypothesis test, it's important what we're testing. So the, te uh, the test is to see that The deluxe average, the deluxe tire averages at least five fifty thousand miles. So we have a mean. Uh, the whole idea about averaging is we're looking at a mean, at least fifty thousand miles. And because this is an at least that includes equality, we are looking at this as the null hypothesis. And our alternative hypothesis is saying that it's less than. So we have to understand that this is our claim. And that will be important for us. OK. Uh, from the past studies, the uh, standard deviation is known to be 8,000. So we should assume that we have a known standard deviation of 8,000 miles and then we have a survey of 28 tires um, and the lifespan was the lifespan was uh, the mean average for the sample was 46.5 and with a standard deviation of 9800. Okay, so this is our setup. And we want to test this claim at the 5% level. So when we're testing this claim at the 5% level, what we can do is we can uh, try to obtain our, our p-value. So let's do, let's run a test. And for the test, we're just going to go directly to our calculator. We're going to perform, because we know sigma, we're going to use uh, the z test. So in our calculator, we go to stat and test. And look, it's the very first one, the z test. Now we have statistics here that we found or that we were able to obtain from the problem so we'll use the statistics option and we'll select that the first thing that they ask for in our statistics is uh, you're claiming what you're claiming and what you're matching up with the claim is 50,000 uh, the very next thing that they ask for is the sigma because you're using the Z test they're expecting you to know what Sigma is and that is 8,000 uh, next they ask for the the mean that's 46.5 and the number and the number in your sample we got 28 all right the next option is asking us what your alternative hypothesis is. And what they do is they really just match the sign for your alternative hypothesis. So they're saying mu is less than mu sub 0, which you said to be 550,000. So we're going to use the less than symbol. And this will dictate your calculator to use the, the left tail test and then we'll just have it calculate 
in our calculation we got a few values that come out. Uh, the first value that come out is your test statistic. And since your test statistic is using the z-test, we'll call it a z. Uh, that's negative 2.315. Um, by the way, we are using the z-test over here. Uh, another way they denote that is that you're using your normal distribution. And uh, you're using this mean and standard deviation. Okay, so you got your z test and then your p value. And your p value is 0 0.0103. Now the quick way to do this is to compare your p-value with the significance level. And according to your 0.05 level, your p-value is less. This, by the way, is sometimes referred to as alpha. And so since your p-value is less than alpha, we would reject the null hypothesis. So the fact that we're rejecting a null hypothesis is basically saying that we're going to reject our claim. So we reject the claim. That. Um, and then we look at the claim that the uh, deluxe tires average Lux tires average at least fifty thousand miles before it needs to be replaced. Now we can go take it a step further and ask uh, what kind of um, error we might get. Well, at 5% because uh, this is a error of type 1 because we rejected the null hypothesis. So just as an aside here, a type 1 error would occur in this case because we rejected the null hypothesis. So the error would be if we reject the null hypothesis but it was actually true. So if we reject the null hypothesis when in fact it is true that that the average is at least 50,000 miles. All right, so I hope that helps you get started with hypothesis testing.